Well, how do that jumps? See, so join me on die five. Thank you. Get the hell out of there and head towards the base of the oil ring. Okay. The scanners are picking up something massive right near you. I can see it. Whoa! It nearly got me with its tentaculians. Frick off! Freaking get bag. Okay. Now he is going to hit you. He is going to hit you quite a fair few times, this octopus, if you're not quick on getting to your destination. The destination is over there where you can see those sort of the oxygen marker. What I would suggest is try and stay quite close to these rock formations. You are going to see the odd shark. Don't go into the really big cave that's over there on the right. Just sort of follow this sort of white sort of sandy pathway all the way down. Stay in fairly low. Hopefully that kraken isn't going to hit you again. But um, when you emerge at the opposite side of here, this is where you sort of take a little right through this cave. Sometimes he can hit you again on the other side of this cave. Um, but yeah, over this way, swimming under here, just stay quite close. I can hear him the whole time. Sometimes he appears on the left-hand side in a moment. I love that, with the god rays just coming through the ocean surface there, peeps. Isn't it cool? It's freaking lush. Righto. Now, over here, there is a box where you can get a, a replenishment of your old arrows. I mean, th that octopus is going to appear over there. There he is. There he is, right behind me. There he goes. Have that, mate. Right, let's open this. Replenish those. Now, your first chest, people, is just by this southern east leg of the oil rig, just off this side of this edge where that box was. So swim all the way down, follow the kelp down, and you should find your first chest right here, ready and waiting for you. Thank you, guys. And we can pop that chest. Let's do that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Yeah, it's a bit algae and rusted, isn't it? But we, we've got this. Boom. Chicka boom bam. Coin for me. Coin for me. Coin for me. Chicka pow pow. Right now. Now, all you need to do is just follow the sort of marker towards the oxygen over here. To carry on swimming, swim, swim, swim. Now, down by the oxygen, you're going to come across a lot of serpents. So just sort of hanker through this bit instead. And you are going to come across the odd shark, but at least you're probably not going to get bit by a bloody snake. Because those snakes make you go all sort of sketchy for a while. It's not great. Right, okay. Now there's another box just up here, which you can pop. Cool. Grab that. Replenish those and you see the skeleton what you want to do is go to the back end of it And you can see that there's another box just here you go and hit that one up I'm hoping to get myself a medical kit out of one of these. There's the medical kit. That's gonna come in handy now behind this post are two rocks One and two look like giant potatoes in between those is another chest Awesome pop the chest Come on come on come on boom I'm saying come on, come on, come on, because here is where I usually get nibbled by sharks. Right, swim over this sort of barrier, and you on the actual compass, you sort of put it over towards north and sort of away from here. And right over here by this leg, off the edge, is sort of where your other chest is going to be. It's, it's sort of like in a little white patch. You can see that there's a chest marker over here, so it, make, it makes you move more towards the southern bleed marker. You just sort of follow it round, and there it is, there. See, there's that big post there, and here's your chest. Okay, cool. Pop that one. Now, if you've been as quick as I have, hopefully you're going to do this before your oxygen runs out. Oh no, the freaking snake has got me. Okay. That's the first time I've been bitten by a snake there. It's circling around for another attack, isn't it? Oh, for fudge's sake. I've lost where I am now. Okay, well, what you need to do is you see this sort of cliff marker. I'm going to use my medical kit. This cliff edge. Follow the cliff. <sighs> Freaking snake is just following me and biting me, even though I'm swimming as fast as I can. But you need to follow this sort of, like, grey lip all the way along here. Okay? Just follow it as far as you can. Hopefully you're not going to die, like I am. Keep going, keep going. All the way down, all the way down. And you should find your other chest. Just around here somewhere. Now, I was pretty much blind the whole time that I've been swimming. So if I can still find my chest, then hopefully you guys can. But just keep going. 
Get off or fudge off. Okay. Trying to make a tutorial video and make me look like a complete noob. Okay, right. The chest is somewhere over here. Oh, for fudge sake. Because I've been bitten by so many blinking snakes, I've lost my bearings of where I am. There it is. There it is. So it's right down by this sort of, like, boulder edge. But it's just follow that sort of lip, and it's quite near to the end corner. I would show you exactly where. But sadly, I got bit by a bloody poisonous snake, so forgive me. But anyway, now we've got to get back to the oxygen. So let's go. Hopefully that's that's good enough for you to find that chest. I mean, it, it is just follow that sort of grey sort of lip all the way around. Right, I'm going to swim a bit faster, go get my oxygen. And sadly, I've used my medical kit, which we're really going to need that. So I've just got to pray to the gods of the game that we find another medical kit inside of this case, which probably won't be the case. Yes, it is. Nice. Okay, get out of there quickly. Right, everything's going to be coming at you. Now, what I usually do is I swim up into the canopies up there and sort of take a bit of cover. Using the oil rig to my advantage, but up to you what you want to do. Okay, I'm going to swim out this way. I'm going to swim up. And hopefully use some of this to cover me. Okay, we've got one medical kit. Be nice to have two. This level is freaking hard. All right. The old oil rig now stands abandoned and forsaken. Ever since strange occurrences began plaguing the structure, engineers reported that something massive was attacked. Its framework and foundations tearing holes in the steel. Ah! What the fudge? A snake got me. Sometimes the snakes, for whatever reason, can swim through some of the structure. got the snake. The snakes, you can just shoot them in the belly. They don't have to get them in the head. But don't worry about being super accurate. But you want to take them out as soon as you see them, because they will see you a mile off. And they're by far the worst enemy in this level. Okay, we're doing good, we're doing good. Okay, I need to use that health pack, though. Right. Now, there should be another health pack down here somewhere. Let's go hit up this chest. And let's see if we can get another one. Just so we're, we're a bit more comfortable. No, no health pack. Darn it. Okay, sometimes some of the health packs replenish. Or I... Or maybe I just find extra ones. Usually down by where all the bones are, you know, the skeleton. Just be careful that the snakes don't blink and get you. Now this one you've got to kill so many creatures. It's it's insane just how much you've got to kill on this level. I didn't want to waste an arrow on, on that little guy. Here you go. Sharks are respawning in now. Look, that one looks like a nurse shark. It's bigger than the rest. And it's nastier than the rest as well. This one takes a serious amount of killing. Look at that. I've got him in the face a couple of times now. He just keeps coming like a freaking tank. Got him. He's like the boss of this level. Makes these little ones feel easy. Obviously, if you're Captain Steve, you can just frickin' Rambo it, mate, but, you know. Pretty fudge. I do feel a little bit like Rambo, but underwater with this spear gun, you know what I mean? Pretty cool. I'm staying close to where the oxygen spawns now. Using this post to sort of dance around. 
What the fudge? How did you survive that? Okay. Yeah, he got me. Stop being immortal and frickin' die! Whoa, that was close. I nearly fell off my chair. You can take that. Yeah, that's my janky shoot in that one. I mean, yeah, I'll just let him recover. He can go swim around for a while. My oxygen tanks are getting a bit low. Let's go replenish those. Right, that shark should have recircled back round to come and get me now. He hasn't. Hmm. There he comes. Yeah, it is the same one. Okay, so that's that wave done. Hopefully something else will spawn in in a moment. We're back down by the skeleton. Let's have a look, see if I missed any of these crates. No. And they don't respawn. It's just that sometimes I miss one or two. I've got, I've got them all this time, though. So I think we've only got 84 health, which is still quite a lot in the grand scheme of things. But this final wave of creatures, when they decide to show up, can be really difficult. Get rid of the snake. Oh no, I missed him! Frickin' heck. Get the multipliers. I thought that was another shark then. It's not, it's the one I just killed. That one isn't, no, that's a new one. Frickin' heck. Frickin' snake. We didn't kill him. Oh, we just made him angry. Got him. That was a really terrible shot that killed him then, but it, it worked, so I'm not going to complain. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Bloody git bag. Right, I think we've done it. I think we completed it anyway. It was that final snake. He bit me. I managed to shoot him even when in sort of like my trance-like state. We got him. We've freaking done it. We've still got gold though. we still got a gold. we got all four chests. we got the multipliers, 15 of them. Pretty good score. Not bad. What a cool trophy. I'm going to stick that on my thumbnail. Right, upgrades. What can we do in way of upgrades? Huh. Can I afford that? I can. Unlock the Manta Ray. The Manta Ray is a handgun that carries small explosive tip darts that detonate shortly after impact. Perfect. Heck yes. Yep. Do that. Explosive damage. Heck yes. Oh, we're going, we're going to town on the explosive damage, mate. Ah! There we go. Nice one. So we've got that. I'm not too sure how you swap weapons, because obviously this is the first other weapon I've got. So... There is that. Okay, so next dive. We're going to be hitting that one up soon, people, which will be dive six. Thank you very much for watching, people. Of your verse. Let's go make myself a little bit larger on the screen there. So, yeah, I'm just going to hit start over there so it makes the auto save. But, yeah, I want to say a massive, great big thank you for watching, people, in the viewer verse. I guess I do. And um, yeah, until next time, you guys have been awesome. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Hmm. Ba -ba -da.